So we have learned how to create a POST API and insert data. But let's assume that during an insert operation, the data that was passed was incorrect. And now you want to update the corrected one in the database or for any reason you want to change the values. So how do we update the inserted data? For that we have two different types of methods or requests that is put or patch that can be used to update data in the database. Technically speaking, it is the query that is responsible for updating the data in the database. So before we jump into the example, let me brief you on what is the difference between put and patch. According to the theory, put replaces the whole document or records with the payload or data that is passed in the request. For example, if you have record like name, email and phone and if you want to change the email in the record then you have to pass the whole record just to update the email like this if you just pass email then the whole record gets replaced that is the new record will be just email that means if we don't pass the whole record in the put request there is a data loss while patch does only the partial update that is you just have to pass the data that needs to be updated and only that portion will be updated so in patch method you just have to pass email and the updated record will be like this but this is according to the theory practically it is the query that does the update in the database so in this case even if we pass only this in put request only the partial update will be performed let's check it in the user js file i am creating one new put method basically most of the things will remain the same as only the method name and database logic will have some minor difference so i will say user dot put parentheses and what are we going to give here correct the endpoint name let me give the name as slash update slash colon id that is we will pass the id of the record that we want to update as parameter and the actual data will be passed in request body comma and the callback functions that is request response and arrow function in this the connection method will remain the same as this the only change would be the mongodb method to update the document so i will say db underscore connect dot then underscore db arrow function underscore db dot db dot collection name of the table that is users and now instead of insert many i will write the mongodb update method that is dot update one parentheses now in update one method we have to pass two parameters the first one is the filter that is the data that we want to update so in our case we are updating the data by id and the property name in database is underscore id so i will put curly brackets and in that i will say underscore id colon and the id and how do we access the parameter yes request dot params dot id but in mongodb the id is actually an object id and the parameter passed here is a string so how do we convert that into an object id for that we have an object id method in mongodb driver which we are going to import now i'll go on the top and import it and here i'll say object id parentheses request dot params dot id perfect and now in second parameter i'll say curly brackets dollar set colon request dot body that is whatever object will be passed in the payload will be updated and added if the property is not found note that dollar set is used to update the records in the mongodb if you want to know more about it you can check my mysql and mongodb tutorial
and finally the callback function error comma response data arrow function if there is any error response dot send let's convert this error object to string so you get the message otherwise response dot send and the response data adding the catch block as well saving the file let's test this in postman now i'm creating one new request we'll name this as update user i'm selecting put method here and let's give the url i'll say localhost 5000 slash user slash update slash id now here is one pro tip every time instead of writing localhost 5000 i can create one variable in postman and use that variable here in left menu click on environments and then create environment i'm going to name this as dev variables here i'm going to add a variable url type let it be as it is and in initial value i'll say localhost colon 5000 let's save this and now here at the top right corner i can select my environment and in url i will use the variable by using double curly brackets as soon as we write double curly brackets it will suggest the variables that are present in the environment from here i will select the url slash user slash update slash id let me select one id from the database so i am selecting this second id and paste it in the url and for the payload i will select body raw and type json curly brackets and now i'm going to pass the value that i want to change for example i want to change the name of this record so i will say name colon james bond and click on send and here is the response which says modified count is one let's verify this in mongodb here we can see that only the name property is updated for this record and rest of the properties are as it is same result can be achieved by using patch as well which we will see in the next lecture which is also an assignment